Hi guys, Luna here. Welcome to this Elden Ring guide where we're going over how to complete all the missions that involve Rani, Faya, Rogier, and D. Two of these are huge quests, the Rani one and the Fia one. Rogier and D play their own parts in this, and basically all of them are intertwined at some point, but I will go over them in the order I did them, and I don't think any of the stuff you get from these is missable. So it's best just to jump into it and go over it as we do it. So let's start off by doing the start of Rani's questline. Now Rani is Rena the Witch you meet at the start of the game and gives you the summoning bell. She goes by Rani now and if you didn't speak to her at the very start of the game don't worry you can still start her quest at Rani's Rise. Let's head to Rani's Rise and speak with Rani the Witch and it will take you a little while to get to this part of the map but you head to her rise and you can talk with her and she will ask you to talk with the three ghosts in the tower. E.g. Blythe and Celevis. And after you've done that you can talk to Rani again and she will tell you to speak with Blythe once more. This time, however, he is not located in the tower. He has moved to the Seofra River. Head to the Seofra River and speak with Blythe. He will tell you to speak with Celevis, who is back next to Rani's Rise, but in a different tower to the south. And if you talk to him, he will tell you to speak with Selin in Limgrave. And once you do, you can return to Blythe, and after he's done talking, he will ask you to meet him at Castle Redmain. Now this is where it gets tough, because you will have to fight Radan, who is a very tough battle. But you will have to do this in order to progress through any more of these missions. But to be honest, if you struggle with this, then you won't be able to complete the rest of the boss fights that come with these missions anyway. So after you defeat Radan, the star will fall during a cutscene at the end, and it will land in the ground next to Fort Haith, and this will open up the Nokron Eternal City. Progress through the city, defeating the Mimic Tier to reach the Ancestral Woods area, and from here you can jump down the buildings to reach the Knight's Sacred Ground. However, before you reach the very bottom here, it is worth pointing out that there is a legendary summon ash here that gives you the Mimic, which I personally think is the best ash in the game because it will make a complete copy of your character. So essentially you have two of the exact same characters attacking any boss. So it's really worthwhile picking that up, but you will need a stone in order to get past the mist. From here, jump down and you will find a chest with the Finger Slayer blade that Rani is requesting. And you can return to Rani and give her her blade and she will give you the Cadian Inverted Statue. And this statue isn't for anything to do with Rani's questline, it's to do with Fia's questline, which we will begin now. At this point, you can head to the Table of Lost Grace and talk with Fia, and you can give her another hug, and you will get a secret option where she will ask you to give someone the Weathered Blade. I'm not sure when the secret hug option will appear. I think you may have to complete a certain amount of bosses in order to do that, but if you've already done the Rani's Rise missions, you should be okay. Now, the Weathered Blade is to be given to D, who is sitting in front of the table in front of the Sight of Grace, and once you give him the Weathered Blade, you can rest at the Sight of Grace to reset the whole area, and then head back to Fia. However, this time, don't go into her room. If you look down the corridor past the blacksmith, you will see a new door has opened and Fia is in there standing over Dee's body. She disappears and you can get Dee's armor, which is important, so don't lose it because we will be using that later in the mission. Now at this point, if you haven't already done so, you can talk with Rodgir, who you find in Stormville Castle. Now you can talk to him previously because he will have different things to say, but I never actually spoke to him until this point, which was quite late in the story, and he doesn't say anything. He just moans and doesn't do much. However, don't worry about any of this. You can keep talking to him and returning, and eventually he will do what you want him to do, and that is to die. And this is where you get his armor, you will get the rapier, which you will get as a quest reward for something else. I believe it's for defeating Godric. So if you haven't picked that up, you will get that as well. And he will also have a note. The note says that D had a brother, and he is located where we are heading in the future. 
So this is where the quest splits off into two. We can finish Rani's quest, or we can go find Fia, which will also involve the Roger quest line, and we can do these in any order, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna start with the Rani one. If you've already given Rani her weapon and she gives you the inverted statue, then you can use the portal now in Rena's Rise, which is the third tower that's in this area, to reach a hidden area of the Insult River main. As soon as you arrive here, there is a doll to collect, a miniature Rani doll, and you can head to the site of grace and talk to it as many times as it lets you and this will start a mission to hunt down the billful shadow from here you can continue on traveling through the ainsel river main until you reach noxtella the eternal city you'll encounter the baleful shadow right here at the end before reaching the lake of rot and he isn't too difficult and once you kill the baleful shadow he will drop the discarded palace key now, you can use this palace key in order to unlock the locked chest, which is located in the Raya Lucaria's Grand Library. There's a chest here, open it with the key, and you will get the Dark Moon Ring. With the Dark Moon Ring, travel into the Lake of Rot, continue to the Grand Cloister, and defeat the legendary creature, Astil, natural born of the Void. Once you've defeated Astil, you'll reach the Moonlight Altar area, which is behind the waterfall that the boss fight was in, and you can continue past the dragon and enter into the Cathedral of Manus Celeste. Enter the hole in the ground and you'll find the dead Rani doll. You can use the Dark Moon Ring to bring her back to life. And after you talk with Rani, she will leave and you will be awarded the Dark Moon Greatsword, which will finish the Rani quest until you see her at the end game, because all of these quest lines will have different things that will involve different endings. But that is the Rani quest line in its entirety. So what about the Fia quest line and Rodgir? After Fia kills D, she disappears and we have to go find her and it's quite a journey in order to do that however before we do that there is an item that we need that will be required in order to get the final boss of this quest so we need the inverted statue that we got from the Rani quest line previously and then we have to head to the Carrion study hall insert the statue and this will invert the hall allowing us to reach the upper areas previously locked and at the very end of the hall, you will find the Curse Mask of Death. From here, travel to the Nocronus Ancestral Woods, where we got the weapon for Rani, and we also got the powerful Mimic Ashes there. But this time, head north to the Aqueducts area, where you will fight two gargoyles. Just before the room with the gargoyles, you will see this is where we continue on with Rodger's mission. Dee's brother is located just outside of the room, and he will ask you to give him the armor that we got previously. And that is all we have to do. We have to give him the armor for now. We will see him later. So head back in to defeat the Gargoyle bosses. And then you can get access to the Roots area where Fia is located now. And it's a little bit of a journey through the Roots. But you will eventually arrive here. A large room where Fia is located. Before talking to her though we must defeat all of her defenders. There's three different fights here. Fia's champion. Rodger, and then we have two more champions and Lionel the Lionhearted, all three at once. And if you're looking for tips on this one, especially as a mage, because they do a lot of avoiding of your spells, I chose to use things that will auto-target or have a wide area of effect, such as the Runestone Arc. But anyway, once they're defeated, you can continue on and talk to Fia, and you can hug her and talk about her secrets and give her the mask. Now, after that's done, travel away from the area, come back. Fia is now sleeping, and you might need to go away and come back several times in order for this to happen. In fact, I think the best thing to do is to keep talking to her and accept her hugs and talk about her secrets, and then head back to the site of Grace and just keep repeating until she finally falls asleep. It might take you a while for that to trigger. But interact with her when she's sleeping, and then you will start a boss fight. One of the best ones in game, I think, the Lich Dragon Fortisax. Not too difficult at this point if you've been leveling up going through these quests, but definitely one of the coolest looking ones in the game. So defeat the boss, and then you will get the Mending Rune of Death Prince, and the fire story is now finished. And then we only have one more thing to do, and that is to go sit at the site of grace. 
Once you do this, you will notice Dee's younger brother is here attacking Faya's body. And to finish this mission, you can kill him and take his weapon and armor. You can also get Faya's armor as well. I don't think you have to kill him. I think if you set the sight of grace, it will give you the armor and weapon. But I chose to kill him anyway. So guys, that is it for this very long guide on how to complete all of the missions that involve Roger, D, Fia, and Rani. Which can be a little complicated, but it's easy if you follow these steps and nothing is missable. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more Elden Ring videos, and I will see you all in the next one.